Hello, hello. I just wanted to make a quick video to share with you guys some exciting news for Mid Journey. Just this week, earlier this week, they announced an upgrade to version 4. And I'm actually in Mid Journey right now, so under announcements, you'll see that on the 5th of November they came up with V4. It's considerable upgrade and they have some details as to what are some of the features what's new with the version 4 base model so vastly more knowledge of creatures places and more so it sounds like that they have trained the model with enormous amount of data to upgrade that which is great much better at getting small details right in all situations handles more complex prompting with multiple levels of detail so that's been one of the one of the drawbacks if I may that I noticed across all AI tools that when it comes to level of details that shows up in your prompt you know depending on how detailed your prompt is it may or may not understand it completely so with this new version, what Midjourney has tried to do, it has improved so that it can handle more complex prompting with more details, which is good. Better with multi-object, multi-character scenes. That's great. Supports advanced functionality like image prompting and multi-prompts. Supports chaos argument. Not sure exactly what that does, but those are some of the new features. That they have added which is great now it also improves the up sampler it sounds like new up sampler adds changes or corrects details in the original image more like the version 3 upscaler and new up sampler is an early work in progress it'll change significantly so those are some of the details they shared with us earlier this week and I wanted to jump in. I wanted to try to see how good it is compared to the previous version. Now, one thing they mentioned right on top, and I'll show you in just a moment how that works, to turn on this new version. There are two ways you can do it, right? So either you can add this argument, dash dash v space 4, in each prompt that you issue, Alternately, you can adjust your settings so that you upgrade that into version 4. And that I found to be much easier to do. So once you have upgraded that into version 4, you no longer need to worry about adding that piece every time you issue a prompt, right? As simple as that. So I'll show you that right now, how that's done. And the way to do that, and I'm just going to go back into my server, Discord server, and I actually issued the command before. Now I'm in mid journey in Discord. So settings is one of the options that they mentioned. So that's what I type in. And it just opens up your settings. And you'll notice that right now I'm sitting at version 3, right? So you can just click on version 4, mid journey version 4, and that's saved. So what that does. Now, if we were to go back and start typing in an, an imagine prompt and type something in just to show you. So let's say I want to do maybe something that I've done before. So let's just say Michael Jackson singing in front alert crowd. You no, know, one option I have, and I have Mid Journey open through the website. So what that does, and if I can open it up here, if I scroll down and I look at some of the earlier images that I generated, there is this one neat option that you can always use. Yeah, I wanted to get a sense of how this command or this prompt is taken with this new version. So it's Michael Jackson singing in front of a large crowd, Japanese TV style 8K, 4K. I used that prompt to create an earlier video for Mid Journey. So 
this is in Mid Journey website. I'm logged into my profile and it has a list of all the different images rendered by Mid Journey based on my prompts. So what I'm going to do here, if I highlight any of those images and I go click on that triple dot, it offers me an option to copy the full command or the prompt. I'm just going to copy the prompt here. Now that's a whole lot easier as opposed to me trying to remember exactly what the command was. So let's just delete that and paste the one that I just copied. So Michael Jackson singing in front of a large crowd, Japanese TV style, 8K, 4K. So that's done. Now let's just issue the command. And you'll notice something. As soon as the command is taken by Mid Journey bot, you'll notice that it adds that version 4. Just because you updated that settings, it remembers that every time you issue a command, now it's going to work with version 4. So that's something to keep in mind. I'd recommend as opposed to typing it every time, change your settings so that it's a whole lot easier and you don't have to remember anything. And let's see how the how the images come out with this new version. Yes, obviously it's looking a whole lot nicer. I know that it's not done completely rendering it, but I can see that, you know, from what I can tell, look at the details. Yep. I'm just going to wait for it to complete 100% so we can just expand it a little bit so we get a better quality. Now look at those images as opposed to the ones that we had before. I can already see some improvements, but that's just one example, right? So that's something I wanted to show you. Now, the other thing I, I wanted to show you are some of the improvements, how it has actually made considerable improvements compared to the previous version. Now, this is one example, one quick example, but I actually ran uh, some of the compares so let's just go back into my folder and what I'm going to do here I'll show you some of the older images from version 3 that I had so this is a prompt that I issued a while back and uh, this is the high level 4 image set now if you look at some of those ones one by one these are how they looked for my prompt that I issued and now compare that with this set here is exact same prompt but look at the difference look at the details it's just mind-blowing what and how much of improvement they have made from the previous version so without any question I can already see that it's looking great uh, this is one upscale version that I wanted to show you and that's how they look now another great example to see how much improvement they have made I went through the open source and I looked at some of those other ones that folks have generated look at the details I'm not sure what prompt generates this type of image but look at the details it's just unbelievable and this is something that I saw, which I thought was pretty cool. Looks like an alien. And this is the one that I generated because I wanted to merge two, two images into one. And this is how it turned out. And those are some of the images that this version 4 has generated. So in a quick video, I just wanted to share with you this exciting news. And I wanted to show you exactly how you can, you can start generating your own. And I hope you enjoy this version 4 and you can, you can start issuing prompts with version 4 and you'll see some of the differences that I've noticed, hopefully. Yeah, and also in the comment section below, please feel free to share your experience if you have already used version 4 or if you're in the process of using version 4. How do you think the images are turning out compared to version 3? I thought it was quite a bit of improvement from what I've seen of it over the last few days. 
But yeah, feel free to share your experience so far. And I thank you for your time. Have a nice day.